All right, during your work together as a group on this homework assignment, it's going to be necessary for you as a group to create a single document. There's a variety of different ways that you can do that, obviously. Someone can start the document, email it out to the rest of the group. Members of the group can make changes to it, email it back to the originator, who can then, I don't know, compile all of the different versions. A simpler and easier way is to use something called Google Docs. And this is just one tool that you can use to collaborate. You have a Gmail account because you have a Weber email account. And Weber's email account is hosted by Gmail. Now, you may have your own Gmail accounts, but you definitely have one set up through your Weber email. So if you go to your Weber email account and sign in, there is a, um, square, of, um, a square on the top of by your picture that is Google Apps. If I click the download, it's going to give me access to my Google Drive, which is given to me um, free online storage because I am a Gmail subscriber. It's also going to, part of Google Drive is Microsoft Docs, documents and um, spreadsheets and PowerPoint presentations, and there's also a Google Forms. I'm going to click on Google Docs, and this is going to bring up a Word document that is stored online. I'm going to tell it that I want to start a new document. I'll click on a blank one and it is going to open up a screen that allows me, just like a Word document, to type some stuff in here. So I'm going to let it settle itself and I'm going to say, this is my new Word document. And so I can type stuff in here and I can make changes and save and I can even, this is currently saved online in the cloud. But I can also download this if I want to. I can call it export it. I could export into an actual real live Word document that I would have stored on my desktop. But one of the beautiful features about this Google Doc is that I can easily share it with other people. And so if you'll notice up here, up in the right hand side of the screen, there is a share. So I'm going to click on that share button and it's going to force me to give my document a name. I'm going to call it my document or something equally descriptive. And then it's going to require me to give it a name before it allow me to do this. Now the box that comes up says share with others. And so I can actually enter the name or the names of the people that I would like to share this document with. Or I can get a shareable link. If I click on that button, it's going to give me a link, a hyperlink that I could just send to anybody to allow them to make change or to allow them to access my Google Doc. Um, one of the things that I want you to pay attention to, it says anyone at Weber.edu can link, or with the link, can view. What I would like you to be able to do is to change it. And so now this says anyone at Weber.edu can edit. But what happens if I don't want you to only access it from your Weber.edu account? What if I want you to be able to edit this from anywhere? If I click on the advanced button, it's going to allow me now when it says who has access, anyone, with the link can edit. If I click the change button, now it says anyone with the link. That is one of my options. So I said anyone with internet access can gain access to it, which I don't want. I only want people that have access to the link. So I'm going to switch that button to on and it says access anyone can edit. Now one of the things that I can do is I can just share a Google document that doesn't allow people to make changes. That would be comment or view. Um, viewing is if they can just see it, comment on it, it means that they can add comments to it, but they cannot change the original contents of the document. But I want all the members of my Chapter 13 group, or I want all the members of my group to make changes to it. We are collaborating on a single document. So I'm going to make sure that the anyone with the link can edit, and then I'm going to click the Save button. And it's going to take me back to this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste that link and I'm copy and paste it and give it to anyone that I would anyone in my group that I would like to have access to it or one of the, or I can add their names. And I can add individual email names for everybody that I would like to be able to access. Once I have done that, I'm going to have to cancel out of this because I'm not going to invite anyone. Instead, I'm going to click on that link and I'm going to press control C to copy. And then I'm going to tell it that I'm done. And then I'm going to go into my group homepage or to an email or somehow, and I'm going to control V and I'm going to paste that link where the other members of my group can gain access to it. That is exactly what I did when I gave you the link to the Google Hangout that we used for your group meeting. And so now anybody with this link 
can click on it and it will take them to this cool and amazing document and allow them to make changes. All of you who have access to this document can make changes to the original. The fun part of it is that if I am in this document when somebody else comes in, I am going to see right beside this comment section, I'm going to see another um, rectangle pop up with their name in it. And I can actually watch them as they're making changes. My, the cursor will change and I can see as they're adding or deleting or changing things. And so everybody could be in the document simultaneously and you could all be making changes and, and talking to one another about it. So this is Google Docs. The Google Drive has some wonderful tools. The Google Docs is just one of them. Another one of them is Sheets, Google Sheets. We can do this exact same thing with a spreadsheet. It has Google Presentations, so I can do the same thing with a PowerPoint presentation. And it also has something called Google Forms, which I can use to create, or to create forms that might do something like um, create queries or, I mean, surveys, like e-surveys if I want to. So I'm currently in the home page of my Google Docs. If I click that button again, I can go back to my Google Drive. And from here, I can create all kinds of cool and amazing um, documents. Let's see what kind of documents that we can create. If I wait for it to think about what it's doing, and I click New, I can create um, Word Docs and spreadsheets and PowerPoint slides. I can create drawings and maps and lucid chart diagrams and mock-ups and Google Forms. Anyway, I would encourage you to experiment with your Google Drive, which you have um, because you have a Gmail account. Another thing that I've mentioned that if you have already created a document and you didn't share it with other people when you first created it, I have my Google Drive organized into folders in the 2130 folder. Excuse me, if you'll notice, I have a zip file for the treasure hunt that you did in our chapter on operating systems. And if I, this zip file, or just a regular document or any kind of a file, if I wanted to share it, I can right-click on it after it's been created, after the fact, and I can click Share, and it will give me the same options. Who would I like to share it with? Do I want to get a shareable link, or do I just want to share it by email address? So I don't have to share it at the moment that I create it. I can work on it, and then at any point in time in the future, I can share that document. Anyway, let me know if you have any additional questions about this, and happy collaborating.